Hey y'all, Mr. Myers, or Mr. Kyle, either way, I guess, at MyersMathematics.com. So, uh, today is our, uh, well, I'm not even going to try to count anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is uh, September 7th, so we have three problems today. All right, so if you're not familiar with this series, if you're just checking it out for the first time, I'm doing a series on factoring where I give you answers to a bunch of different factoring problems that you might run across. Um, not so that I can give you the answers, all right? I don't want to just give you the answers. I want to show you how to do it, and it's really easy. So I want to show you how easy it is, all right? And of course, you have, if you have any problems or any uh, struggles, if you don't think it's really easy after watching this, um, check out some of the other ones. So you look for patterns, right? The whole key to math is patterns. And of course, you can always follow me on my Snapchat, uh, mr.m, let's see, hold on. Oh, here we go. mr.myersmath, Mr. Myers Math. So check it out on that uh, that Snapchat and uh, send me a snap of a, of a problem if you're still stuck with your factoring. Or you can always look on my website if you're in the area, if you're in the USF uh, general Tampa area. You can always uh, um, look at when I'm available for private tutoring as well. Uh, and then, of course, courses to come. But, you know, uh, I've said enough already. Let's go ahead and dive in. We've got x squared plus 3x minus 4. I'm going to do that one first, and then I'm going to do the minus version of that. So there are two things that give me 4. 1 and 4, obviously, and then, of course, 2 and 2. Now, if I did 2 and 2, that wouldn't work, right, because I'd have to uh, subtract, and then I'd get 0. So uh, that wouldn't work. So what we're going to do is I need to get 3, and I need to subtract. I need to get negative 4 when I multiply. So 1 times 4 is positive 4. That's not going to work. I need to make one of them negative. So let's make the 1 negative. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So there we go. We're all done. Once you find out the factors, you're done. Now, let's do the negative version. I'm going to crank that out real quick. x squared minus 3x minus 4. So check it out. It's going to be the same thing. Right, 4 is 1 times 4, or 2 and 2, and we want to make the 3 negative this time, so we're going to make the 4 negative. 1 plus, or sorry, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so throw some x's in front, and there we go. All right, and then for our last problem, we have x squared plus 3x minus 10. x squared plus 3x minus 10. All right, so check it out. I'm going to multiply 10. I get 1 and 10. Well, that's not going to work if I subtract or add, but I'm going to have to subtract, right, because that's negative 10. If I do that, right, that would give me negative 10 if I multiply, but that's not going to give me 3 when I subtract. So I go on to the next one, 2 and 5. Well, that works. Check it out. If I do minus and plus, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, so bingo. There we go. Throw some X's in front and call it a day. 